Okay, uh, let's go from a displacement time function to a velocity and acceleration displacement function in terms of x. So let's just start with what we know. We're really comfortable now with just simply differentiating to find velocity. We could go again and get acceleration equals... There we go, that's old hat, old news. Let's go to this Vx. So we've got a V equals one on root t, and I know what root t is. I know this is a simplified, very simple version, but let's just um, use parametric equations to get that root t down there, or substitution, to get rid of it. So I'm gonna go Therefore, v will equal 1 on 2x because root t is the same as x. So that now becomes actually a vx function, whereas this one over here is a vt function. And we're halfway there. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Now, um, let's do v dx dv dx is going to be minus 1 on 2x squared, I think it is. Now, acceleration equals v dv dx. We know v is 1 on 2x, and we know dv, dv dx is minus 1 on 2x squared. So our acceleration displacement function becomes minus 1 on 4x cubed. Um, okay. There's our v of x, and there's our a of x. Done.